Hey, 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 welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Vortex Air Bladeless Fan with HEPA filter. It's got two modes, it's got a hot and a cool mode. Um, but the most part that I'm excited about is the HEPA filter. So if you are in the UK and you suffer from hay fever, then the HEPA filter is going to be a godsend. It clears out the pollen um, and the pollutants in the air and gives you fresh air. It cools the air, it's a fan and that's what it does, it cools the air, but it's also got a warm mode as well. So if you use it in the winter, it's also going to be used as a, a fan heater, essentially, and it's bladeless. So just like me, if you've got kids who like to stick their fingers into all kinds of things, um, a bladeless fan is what you need because it has no blades, um, so it's very safe. So yeah, let's get into it. Alongside the fan you'll find in the box is a instruction manual and the remote control. So let's get unwrapping. Right now with the fan fully unboxed and ready to go, we're going to review the um, various aspects of the fan. So um, you can see the fan looks very nice against the black TV stand I've got here. I was going to get a black uh, fan, but then I thought, you know what, a white one will be a nice contrast. Kind of matches the wall, it does match the wall, and it's a contrast to the TV cabinet, and it, it does look really nice. Um, so when reviewing this fan, and other towel fans, we're going to be looking at 10, uh, 10 different uh, sets of criteria that we're going to be uh, measuring against, which are going to be the design, the performance, the ease of use, time of functionality, uh, the noise, the durability, the safety, the portability, uh, the stability, and value for money. We're going to be going through each step by step, so let's get going. Firstly, the design. Um, so to comment on the design, let's have a look in detail. So, oh, they'll probably start in on there. And I actually really like the, I really like the square shape or the rectangular shape of the fan and um, the rounded bottom. So there are other bladeless fans on the market, but um, not all of them look amazing. Some of them look really good. I think this one from Hot Snap, the Vortex Air Fan, um, looks very cool. So on the design front, I will give it a nine out of 10 and the performance. So I've got the remote here, I've taken out the little plastic bit uh, that keeps the batteries safe. So let's go. Just turned it on and it's already going. And it's going at this first speed. So you can see the speed level here. And there's a nice breeze I can feel. So let's turn it up to speed setting two. We'll go up to three. What's the max on this? So 10 is the max. And oh, that's very powerful. So and I love the fact that it's a bladeless fan. So let's give it a little bit of sway. So now it's moving from side to side. It's covering a decent part of the room. And the fact that it's got a HEPA filter um, makes it even better. So. Again, we're keeping in the same vein as the performance. So, with the fan on, I am going to press the button for hot and cold, and that's going to turn it into H3. And then with the remote, you can just go into medium, or you can go into cold. So, you've got the heat settings here, which are different to the fan settings. So, let's put it on a medium H1, and this is a nice warm temperature if you want to make it hotter, obviously you can go up to three. And now I can feel it's really nice and pleasant warm air. I don't think it's quite as dry as a normal fan heater with a little red 
halogen or whatever it's called uh, because that really really dries out the air this is more like a warm i would say car heater air um it's it's pleasant it's not overpowering um and it's it's just actually really really pleasant i can feel on a cold day this would actually uh, be very very nice so again we could we could turn on the settings on that or turn it down uh whatever you like so yeah in terms of the performance i will give it again i will give it a eight and a half nine out of ten um because it is really good so let's get into the hepa filter so it is this button here this one of these on either side um, and you just literally just press it to unlock the actual um, chassis of the bottom part that will remove the chassis or the um, the outer chassis anyway um, giving you access to the HEPA filter so it's really easy to uh, sort of get in there and change your HEPA filter as and when needed um, so in terms of ease of use which is our next criteria I'm going to give it a 10 um, because I took it apart really easily everything is really uh, self-explanatory a lot of people don't read the instruction manual that comes with the product whether it be a fan or anything else I am one of those people who don't read the instruction manual um, and yet I've got hold very quickly um, of the mechanics of the fan the remote itself is very easy to use um, very self-explanatory it's easy to open up the fan to get into the HEPA filter to change that so yeah I'm loving it all around um, so the next part of the review process is the timer again very easy timer buttons here um, I don't know if you can see it on the there we go the timer buttons here and you just press it to extend it and you can see on the fan itself as I press the up button is going up to five hours, six hours, seven hours, and it goes all the way up to nine, and then it goes back to one hour. So, timer function, very easy to use. It's there. So, for that, I'll, I'll, again, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 because I can't floor it. Um, noise is the next uh, criteria on the list. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to whack that up to 10 the highest speed setting and I'll let you be the judge of the noise you can still hear me hopefully very clearly it's on 10 so it's on the maximum setting um, and I don't think it's noisy I think there is some noise but it's a fan there is going to be some noise whether you're using a fan or an air conditioning unit you are going to have some noise but in terms of the air that comes out I will definitely say the noise is preferable over the heat so again there is some noise it's expected on the noise I don't think it's that noisy and therefore I'm going to give it an eight and a half out of ten for the noise the next one is durability how durable is it I'm not gonna pick my fan up and throw it I don't think you're gonna do that either um, but in terms of durability it's made out of hard plastic it's I don't think it's flimsy. It's not going to. It's not going to break if it falls. Um, so again, durability. It's, it doesn't look. It doesn't feel like a cheap product. It feels like a very nicely built, quality product. Um, it's, you know, it's not too heavy, but it's heavy enough to give you that sign that it is a decent, um, a, a very nicely built product. So durability, I'm going to give it a nine. And then safety. It's a fan. Um, it's a bladeless fan, so it's safe. So even if you put your fingers anywhere near um, the fan, it's not going to harm you. So with pretty much uh, most bladeless fans, including this one, I'm going to give the safety a 10 out of 10 because you can't get much more safer than this. And then the portability. Again, it's not a heavy fan, um, just over five kilograms. You can easily pick it up with one hand to transport into the next room. Um, so again, you know, I would say a, a, a nine and a half for the portability. Next criteria is stability. If I push it, will it fall over? No. If I ram into it, then yes, it will fall over, but it's very, it's got rubber feet on the bottom. So it's very stable. It's very secure. 
um, you're not going to have any problems with it. In terms of value for money, it's £160 currently at the time of this recording on Hot Snap. So compared to some of its closest competitors, I would say it is at a very good price point for a very decent and well-built product. It's a quality product um, and it is something that I actually genuinely do approve of. So yeah, I hope you found this review really useful. Um, if you did, please give us a like and a subscribe and um, you will find the link to the written review on the bottom in the description below. Thanks very much.